God praise y'all. Give God praise. Pentecost Sunday. Pentecost Sunday. Pentecost Sunday. Pentecost Sunday. Now, now, now. Now, y'all. Y'all. If you go to chapter 1 of Acts. Chapter 1. And if you look at verse number 2. It said, until the day in which he was taken up. He is Jesus. After that, he through the Holy Ghost had given commandments unto the apostles whom he had chosen. Hmm. People, let me tell you something right now. I'm not going to stay in the church that don't believe in the Holy Ghost. I know, that's right. Come on now, say it again. Man. I'm not going to be in the church. I don't care. I don't care. Our Reverend Doctors doing the best preachers in the United States of America. Amen. If they don't believe in the Holy Ghost, I don't want to hear nothing else to say. Yes, sir. It says right here that the Holy Ghost had given commandments to the apostles whom Jesus had chosen. So, so, so look, y'all. God has chosen us. And once he chose you, he wants to fill us with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And I want that Holy Ghost. And today, for some of you who never received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you're going to get it today. Come on, now. For some of you who you have a baptism of the Holy Ghost, but you kind of fade out a little bit with the Holy Ghost. And you're going to get a refreshing. Amen. Come on, man. Amen. Now look at verse number five in Acts 1. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. You shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence. Here's something I just found out this morning. I've never heard this in my life. Now y'all remember when Jesus Christ rose up? Amen. I already knew that Jesus walked the earth for 40 days. Come on, come on. With the holes in his hands. Mm -hmm. In his side, with the holes. 40 days, Jesus was seen and talked. Mm -hmm. Do you know that not only did he talk to his his disciples, they said before he left, he stood in front of a group of about 500 people, which is dead self. He yeah, right. Very much alive. 500 people sat in front of a man who rose up from the dead. My God, my God, Jesus. But here's what I just found out this morning. I'm going to read eight. I'm going to tell you what I just found out today. But ye shall receive power. Yeah, that's right. Say it again. Oh my God. But ye, hold on, excuse me. He's talking about us. That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. Are you in here? Yes. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Yeah. Now, let me put that in more English for you. When the Holy Ghost comes upon you, then you get the power. Amen. That's, that's what that's saying. When the Holy Ghost comes upon you, then you'll get power. That's right. I'm not talking about educational power. Holy Ghost power. Thank you. I'm not talking about sociology power. That's right. I'm not even talking about finance power. Come on now. I'm not talking about political power. Come on now. I'm not talking about scientific power. That's yeah. power. This is what? Spiritual power. Supernatural power. Amen. Oh my God, my God. Because there's a whole lot of folk that's under those categories that I just named with no power. Yeah. Outside of their choice. They choose other power other than the Holy Ghost power. Yeah. It says right here. We still in the first chapter. But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses. Witnesses. Are, are y'all know what a witness is? Yes. Yeah. A witness can't keep his mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> a witness can't be a secret service Christian. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to keep my religion to myself. I'm not going. You got people on a job that ain't even go to church. And when they're working, they're on a the job. And they don't know how I, I go to church. Believe me, they're going to know. 
Oh, uh, they will get tired of me. Mm-hmm. Believe me. Let me tell you something right now. Sister Tawana, I'm sorry. Sister Agnes, this is what I told your son while he was still in the hospital the other day. He had that asthma attack. I told him about this one. I'm in the D.C. government working. And there was a woman there. One day her grandchild, her granddaughter come to meet her. About 10 years old. That woman called me over to her and her granddaughter. And she said, I just want you to know something. I've been watching you. Yeah. She said, and I realized that you are a man of God. And God has told me that I can ask you to pray for my granddaughter. Because she had asthma. She can't run with the kids. She can't play. She got this. She got all the stuff she got to do. Had it since birth. Asthma. Right there in my office. Where I ain't had no personal office. I had a desk. <laughs> with other desks. <laughs> Down in the mayor's building in Lafayette Square, or whatever it's called, Lafont Plaza. So I prayed for that little girl. I went on. That little girl, Grandma came in here the following Sunday with the little girl. The little girl came up here. Say supernatural. Supernatural. She came up here. She said one day. It was right after that. I think it was the next day. She said. And she was running. And she said, running beside her was an angel. Mama. This little girl. Hey. Her testimony is in, in this church on Sunday morning. She said, there was an angel running beside me. Hey. And she said, the angel looked at me and smiled and said, you don't have asthma anymore. Oh, oh, hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Yeah, thank you. And you were healed. Yeah. And the angel disappeared. And she kept running. She didn't need anything else. And she came in here. She said she went home and told her mama. Angel said, said I'm healed. And guess what? She was healed. Hello. Of all asking. No more asking. No more asking. So to hear about how God. So ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of what? Ooh. Ooh, look at 16. Say Pentecost. 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 Men and brethren, this scripture must needs have been fulfilled, which the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Y'all, David was here oh, 4,000 years ago. Come on, y'all. Amen. The Holy Ghost by the mouth of David. Holy Ghost been around a long time since the beginning. Hey, CJ. Spake before concerning Judas, which was God to them that took Jesus. Now, y'all, y'all, let me tell you again, start memorizing some scriptures. Amen. Honey, Amen. I'll make sure you, yeah. you ready? Yeah. Go to the second chapter. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go, y'all. Go to the second chapter. Woo. Oh my God, I'm about to fly. Uh, second chapter of Pentecost. Oh, what is the second chapter of Pentecost? Go to the second chapter of Acts. Amen. Y'all, is it today? We are celebrating the, the creation of the Christian church in the earth. Amen. Y'all, we're celebrating the birth of the Christian church that you're sitting in right now. Amen. Thank you, Father. Y'all hear me? Thank you, man. Christian church. 2,000 years ago. Hear me? Yes. Now, ready? When the day 
of Pentecost was fully come. Fully. F-U-L-L-Y. When the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. Come on now. What is accord? Accord means that we got this same mindset right now for Amen. Jesus. Amen. Accord means that we are in agreement Amen. for what's going on. Amen. We agree. One mind. Not everybody scattered mentally. They were one accord in one place. Are we in one place today? Yes. I declare that we are in here with one accord right now. Amen. Amen. No side show agenda. No other plans but Jesus. Amen. Verse number two. I like this. Oh, come on, say it again. Everything said it. Tears coming. Tears coming up in me. And suddenly. And suddenly, yeah. woo, hold up, suddenly, suddenly. hold up, you're walking down the street, and suddenly, yes. you drive me in your car, and suddenly, yes. you open the door to your house, and suddenly, y'all know what and suddenly means, yeah. surprise, surprise, yeah. surprise, surprise, yeah. something just happened, you weren't expecting, yeah. you weren't looking for it, yeah. but suddenly, right. hey, Thank you, Lord. Yes, 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 Yes. The doctor said we can't do nothing else for you. And suddenly. Amen. Hey! And suddenly. And suddenly. I like this right here. I love this right here. And suddenly. There came a sound from heaven. From where? Heaven. From heaven. From man? No. And suddenly there came a sound from where? Heaven. My God. Come on. From heaven. What? I'm just sitting here depressed and jacked up. And there came a sound from heaven. I'm just lonely and it's full of panic attacks and anxiety and fear and confusion. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven. Come on, y'all. That sound doesn't come for nothing. You get a sound from heaven, it's for a reason. Amen. God heard your prayer and suddenly. Your prayer went up into an ear hole and he heard it and suddenly there came a sound. You almost gave up and gave in. There was so much pressure on you, so much pressure on your life, and suddenly there came a sound. Come on now. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Give me a sound from heaven. Mm. Like as a rushing, rushing, a mighty wind, a mighty rushing, mighty wind. Yes. Yes. No, it's not a mighty rushing wind. It's a rushing mighty wind. Am I right? Huh? A rushing mighty wind. A rushing mighty wind. And guess how I learned that? 
Catherine Kuhlman. When she said Come it one on, time, say it again, Lord. When she said it one time a long time ago, she said, "Now, don't say a mighty Russian wind." She said it wasn't a mighty Russian wind. Yes, right. yes, so I learned that before I, yes, she did. Uh, uh, yes, before she I know where I did. Captain Cruz said, "No, it was a Russian yes, mighty Russian wind." She, she said, "That's a difference. Yeah. That's different than a mighty Russian wind." Amen. God mighty. Russian mighty wind. Yeah. Just and it feel mm-hmm. right. And the field? All the house. All the house where they were work. Yeah. Are y'all fitting? Yeah. Are we in the house of prayer? Yeah. Are we in the house of God? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ben Glenn, are we in the house? Mr. Freddie, are we in the house of God? Yeah. Mr. Evans, are we in the house of God? Yeah. Where they were sitting. Yeah. All the house where they were sitting. So in other words, it's all over here right now. Amen. There's a sound. From heaven right now. I hear it yeah. loud and clear. He said, I'm going to heal all the sick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to heal all the halt and the lame. Thank you, Father. I'm going to heal all diabetes, Thank you, Lord. all cancer, yes. heart Thank you, conditions, throat yes. conditions, yes. Thank head you, conditions, Ever. belly conditions, whatever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to heal you, mind, body, soul, and spirit. You in the house? Yes. Verse 3. And they appeared unto them. Huh. Cloven tongues. <laughs> let, let me show you cloven tongues. Look at me and show you a cloven tongue. This is a cloven tongue. Cloven tongue. Split. That's the cloven tongue. In two. You got me? And they appeared to them cloven tongues. Well, hold on now. But it wasn't really the cloven tongues. <laughs> they appeared to them cloven tongues, but look what he said. He said, like as a fire. Woo! Mm. There was some fire, y'all. Hold on. Some fire. Fire. And here's the part of us got to do right now. And it's set upon each of them. Does it say that? Yes. It's set upon everybody in the house. It didn't use any prejudice. It didn't pick and choose from the pretty to the ugly, from the small to the big, from the rich to the poor. It didn't choose. It said, every one is set upon each one of your Father, right now, in the name of Jesus. Lord, please send your cloven tongue like there's a fire in here, Lord God, and let it sit. But you said it's set upon them. Let it sit upon every one of us in here right now. Right now. Fire. Fire. Fire is setting on every one of us right now. And it's going to do more than set on you. It's going to fill you up on the inside. Because that's what it's all about. It comes upon you. The Holy Ghost comes upon you. And then comes to you to live inside of us. Whew. Whew. Set upon each one of you. Verse number four. Verse number four. Ooh. Y'all. Y'all. <laughs> Verse number four. Oh my God. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm. Don't tell me there ain't no Holy Ghost preaching. Read the Bible. Don't tell me the Holy Ghost went when the last uh, uh, disciple died. Don't tell me no Holy Ghost moving on the people now. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost. So in spite of what you're going through right now, today you'll get filled with the Holy Ghost. In spite of what's going on in your mind, in your emotions, in your feelings, in your heart, in your family, on your job, in your community, in the DMD, The Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. 
Holy Ghost. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And began to speak. With other tongues. As a spirit. Gave them utterance. Utterance. Fire. Fire! Your days of meek, mild Christianity is over as of Pentecost Sunday today. The Holy Ghost coming to you so you'll be a witness of Jesus in all the earth. New things are coming up to you now that you've never seen before. Amen. The favor of God comes with the Holy Ghost. Some people who don't even speak to you on your job all of a sudden will come to you and say, oh, Can you help me? Can you pray for me today? What? Holy Ghost, they see the Holy Ghost on you. You see the Holy Ghost on you. I said the Holy Ghost. Did I say the Holy Ghost? Yes. Today is a new move for you. Today. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, you God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. And I've been preparing. Mm. Thank you, God. Let me tell you something about the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost referred to breath or wind. Mm. That's why in the Bible, I said, are you on the which way he's going? The Holy Ghost is like a breath of wind. Mm-hmm. It's all around us. You hear me? Yes, Lord. The Holy Spirit is the channel through whom God works in the life of Christians. Mm-hmm. Can't be smoking dope and be filled with uh, mm-hmm. Holy Ghost. Amen. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can't be laying in a bed and not your husband or your wife and receive the Holy Ghost. Come on now. Mm-hmm. Step on them toes, Pastor. You can't be in Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm-hmm. You can't be a Sodomite. Mm-hmm. Can't you go to church every day and have the Holy Ghost? That's right. Yeah, come on, man. Many Christians need to stop cussing. Amen. Yes, man. Mm-hmm. You need to stop with the MFs and the Ds and the Ds. Oh. In the 80s. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and more than that. Let me tell you something right now. The Holy Ghost ain't gonna sit in a chair with me behind closed door watching pornography. Right. Daddy, huh? Oh. Daddy, what you doing? Oh, nothing. I'll be out in a minute. Right. <laughs> Y'all hear me? Right. We're talking about the Holy Ghost. Say the Holy Ghost. Guess what John 20, 22 said? And I'm going to do this right now. He breathed on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Receive. Yeah. Receive. 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 Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Spirit is compared to fire. Why? It's compared to fire. Because of its purity and because of its light. My God, my God. Fire is pure and it lights everything up. The fire indicates that the gift of the Holy Ghost. Will be spiritual, not worldly, not in the natural. Oh, hold on for a second. God just reminded me of something. When my brother was dying of cancer, mm-hmm. when I was 32 years old, and they gave him eight days to live mm-hmm. at Duke University Hospital, gave him eight days to live, said, said that we could do nothing more for him. Well, guess what? Uh, God had given me the scripture to memorize. One month before I saw him, before I saw that dead man walking, it was Roman 8 6. And here's what it said 
I'll need that turn to it. He said, to be columnized is death. What's calm? Worldly, fleshly, natural. To be carnal minded is death. Y'all, I'm just saying right now. You're trying to handle your own problems in your carnal mind and it ain't working. You're trying to deal with relationships with your carnal mind and it ain't working. Yeah, it ain't working. You're killing it. Trying to figure things out, ain't figured it out yet. Why am I going through this? Why everybody get blessed but me? Why well, I'm always the one who don't get it. Because you're in the calm mind. To be calm mind is death. Hold on. But to be spiritual mind is life and peace. What? To be spiritual mind is life and peace? Uh oh. Here we go, Holy Ghost. You gotta get more in the spirit than you are in your natural. That's what's wrong with the church today. Because they don't want to get spiritual. They don't even preach spiritual things a lot of them. They won't even mention spiritual things. I've been in church all my life. I ain't heard none spiritual. Too many different churches. I love them. My mom was there, my dad was there, my grandma was there, my granddad was there, my uncle was there, my uncle was there, my mama, my sisters, my brother was there, but the spirit wasn't there. Pastor was cussed. Yeah, thank you. And the pastor cussed. Mm. <laughs> uh, let me show you how how when you don't know anything about spirit. I said, calm minded. To be calm minded is what? Yeah. Yeah. But the spirit's mind is what? Life and peace. Okay. Uh, we have a prayer breakfast. Oh, a big one too. Man, it's nice. Free. Everything. They had pancakes, waffles. Egg, cheese, and all, bacon sauce. So, so I'm in there drinking orange juice, and I'm a social minister. I'm drinking orange juice. The pastor who I love, I still love, he said, uh, uh, "Reverend Jones, why are you not eating?" I said, uh, "I'm on a 40 day fast with no food, and I can't eat right now. Only liquid." He said, boy, you better eat something. <laughs> he didn't understand. He didn't understand. Uh-uh, boy. Uh-uh, boy. Boy. He said, boy, you better eat something. I said, no. I'm fasting and praying for the Lord. Wow. No, he said to me. He said, well, good, then. More food for me. <laughs> <laughs> I licked that mouth closet. <laughs> More food for me, then. <laughs> That was a man who never fasted and prayed. But this kind of coming out, I go by prayer and fasting. So look, y'all, get spiritual. Get more spiritual. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I ask you right now to take away all carnality out of this house. All carnality out of these your people right now. I'm praying yes, about seven. And I pray right now that the Holy Ghost will mm, open up a fresh anointing on the inside of you for spirituality, supernatural things. You become more spiritual than you ever been in your whole life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The devil don't care how much common information you get. The devil ain't afraid of nobody who's a genius. He ain't afraid of nobody who I have What's it? What's it called? PhD. Street sense. Oh, common sense. Yeah, no. Street sense. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh uh. The devil only cares about you having spiritual knowledge. Amen. Amen. Common knowledge, he'll kick your butt off. So many people gone to bed early because they were living off carnality. Yeah. So they got a premature death. But God said, if you get this Holy Ghost in you, that's right. That's right. and you have a hunger and a desire for the spiritual things of God, mm, that's what Satan can't stand. That's what puts fear in him and they begin to scatter from you. Uh, you'll still be attacked, but you'll get less attacks. Because he knows you're dangerous. Ooh, you know you're dangerous. 
Right. All he cares about is what do you know spiritually? Right. Well, I know math. Hey, and I know science and chemistry. But what do you know spiritually? Oh, I got a master's degree in law, but I got a pre-K in spiritual matters. Pre-K, pre-K. You know what pre-K means? Let me that means you don't know nothing. That means you don't know nothing. You don't even hardly know how to go to the bathroom by yourself. They not even no milk. Come on now. So look, y'all. Look, 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 look. The Holy Spirit is compared to fire. In the case that the, the gift will be spiritual, will bring light, light and life to your soul. Say, so Lord, bring light, bring me light and life to my soul right now. Life to my soul right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all, in Acts 4 8, in Acts 4 8, in Acts 4 8, y'all. In Acts 4 8. I'm going to show you something right here. In Acts 4 8. Ooh. In Acts 4 8. 4 8. It says, Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, The rulers of the people and elders of Israel. Peter was full of the Holy Ghost. He was full of the Holy Ghost. Okay, now go back to two. Okay? Okay, now go back to two now. He was filled with the Holy Ghost. Now we just went two, one, two, three, four, right? Right? Now look at five. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, and of every nation under heaven. Now when this was north abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. Remember, the they're under the audience of the Holy Ghost now. Remember now, they were all, verse 4 said, they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with what? All the time as what? As spirit gave them utterance, right? right? So when you get to 5, you got all these multitude, all these different people. And look, they said, what's going on? How do these Jews speak Egyptian, African, Italian, Greek, I was speaking Russian and Roman and and everything. Y'all hear me? Now, verse, yeah, in English. Thank you. <laughs> Six said, now when this was Noah's abroad, the multitude came together with confounded call that every man heard them speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these who speak Galileans? Are all these that are speaking from heaven's best? <laughs> Talk about y'all. Talking about us. And how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born? Now go down to verse 11. Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them. Speak in our tongues the wonderful works of God. So hold on, they just weren't hearing them talk. They were in the unknown prayer language. They were in tongues. But one thing was sure. When they heard, they heard them talking about who? God. Can anybody hear you talking about God sometimes? Or are you going to be a secret service Christian? Y'all, yeah, I'm going to show y'all something right now. I'm going to show what the Holy Ghost had you do. Say boldness. boldness. Two weeks ago, I walked in Walmart right here in Cleveland. I stepped in the building, all hell broke out of Walmart. All hell. You my wife saw on the neighborhood alert there was massive police presence at Walmart. And it was. I encountered it. I just stepped in the door. They're going off. Cops all over this area to the left. And two women going off. <laughs> right, one of the men this time. It was women. Well, all the cops were men. Yeah, super. Oh, they were going on. So guess what I did? Oh, the crowd in Walmart are more than what's in here. Standing all around. Just watching. Not me. Thank you. I walked in and I heard all the crap, all the police in here. 
and all the wrestling going on. I stepped right in front of the cops and in front of the whole crowd. In the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare peace and love. Jesus. Oh, y'all should have been in there. Y'all should have been in there. Y'all should have been in there. I seen the cross because one time I sat on the wall, like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and I walked out and forgot. So I went in, uh, Angela, Angela, what's the little store you and me went into? Michael's. So I went into Michael's, and I only found this little one. But like I told my family, a little one's better than none. Yeah. Yeah. A little one's better than none because this is the one I pulled on them at Walmart. <laughs> It was a little one. So, so look now. So, 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 so it's getting rough, it's getting rough. And I'm standing and I'm going off. And the police, about uh, as close to me, tell me, get back. You know what I did? In the name of Jesus. I just walked that back. In the name of Jesus. He ain't say nothing else. So, so. I heard one woman say, take your hands off of her. She's a female. But they were rough. Mm -hmm. But I went through that. And uh, guess what? God stopped all of that. Them two Amen. women did not go to jail. All right. They God. stopped everything. All right. Because once you bring Jesus to it, come on, come on. You can't see it. Take your service. I'm not going to be afraid of the devil. My God, he's more afraid of me. So I pulled it out two weeks ago. Everything shut down. So look. So as I'm going through the store now, okay, okay, it's on. I'm going through the store. And this woman comes up to me. She said, hey, Mr. Peace. <laughs> and then another one came over to me and said, uh, uh, I'm glad you were here today. And then some people saw me say some other things. But hold on. Three days ago in the same way, right here in Clinton. I'm in line, but there's two lines. I'm in this room, man, got me side by side. There's a woman who's in line. All of a sudden, this young brother, he was 20, that's all down his head. He telling this woman, he jumps in front of her with his car. He tells this woman, I was here. She said, no, you weren't. So I turned to the dude next to him. I said, I didn't see him here, did you? He said, no. So he jumped up. So she said, this is ready to be some mess up in here. <laughs> she said to him, there's a mess. And he, he said, he said, no, I don't think so. Uh, he's woofing. So guess what? I'm standing right there. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Such a young man. 
Jesus loves you and so do I, but show some love. This is an elderly woman. What you doing? Wow. But guess what? He wasn't seeing you too well. What you doing with that, with that image? What you doing with that image? Yeah. What you doing with that image? What the H is that? And then he said something else. I go to church. I said, well, well, how you go to church? You sitting up here cussing. I said, by this faith, how you go to church? You cussing in here. He, he didn't answer that. But I threw Jesus on him. Guess what? He didn't get out that line. He kept his spot in front of that lady. Right? And he said, that is a, no, he didn't move. He said, this is an image. Let me put out that image on me. So, but guess what? Two other men jumped in and they started throwing Jesus on too. All right. Oh, then we want to call. Say we want to call. So guess what? So guess what? I run me out. I'm ringing out and say, I know how you ring out when you're walking. He won behind the guy who's getting run out. I did like this to him. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh man, get out of here, Jesus. <laughs> Say the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost power will do it. Yes. First lady, you bought this to me. Yes, I did. <laughs> Let me show you the one I bought for me. Don't laugh. Oh, you bought one for you too. <laughs> I bought one this an uh, inch smaller than his. And they give me this. Oh my God. No, they did. Oh my God. First lady. This first lady new cross. <laughs> Oh, here's the difference. I said, no, I'm going to give you this. Here's why she got this. I'm going to tell you the difference. No, I will give two First lady grandson. wanted to cross with Jesus on, on it. it. Yeah. Yeah. I tell her I can't use the one with Jesus on because I'm packing it. <laughs> if you got one this big and Jesus is right. this big out here, yeah. you can't be packing that inside like that and walking around with it. Thank you. You can't do it. I'm driving in the car with this and all. I'm walking. I said, so, honey, said oh, you got to get one of these, baby. I'm going to get it to my grandson. Okay, get it to your grandson. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, right now, here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. In the name of Jesus, I was showing y'all how Peter, hold on now. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on, this is one of my favorite parts. I'm still on, on Acts 2. And I just read it again. Let's go to 12. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, what needed this? Look at 13. Others mocked and said, these men are full of new wine. They're drunk. They're drunk. The devil told them that those people were drunk. They've been smoking in our reefer. They were in the club, they got a, uh, uh, what's that New York drink called? Oh, I got No, no. Huh? A Long Island iced tea. That was my favorite. And that was her favorite, that's why I bought it up. <laughs> I always had to go out of the A Long Island iced tea. <laughs> I never drank one in my life. <laughs> long Island iced tea, I never had one. But there was a lot of people in the club <laughs> drinking it. But hold on. These men are full of wine. Hold on, show you something. Hold on, teach you something right quick. Look at verse number 14. But Peter, standing up with the eleven, lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea and all ye that dwell in Jerusalem, be this known unto you and hearken to my words. For these are not drunken. As ye suppose, said it is but the third hour of the day. Tell me what time it was. Come on. Come on. I've taught it in here before. Tell me what it was. Tell me what. When they thought they were drunk, what time was it? Huh? Nine o'clock in the morning. Nine in the morning. I'm going to teach y'all who don't know. Here's how it works. Start with 6 a.m. That's all you got to do. I'm show you how it works. I'll show you how it works. So you'll know what time it was when Jesus took his last breath. He was in the ninth hour. Here's how you get it. Just say six, which is 6 a.m. Right. And here's how you count. Seven, eight, nine, 
It was 9 a.m. Third of Ona. Sweet hour of prayer. Ready? It's 9, right? 10, 11, 12. The sixth hour of prayer was noon. It was a sweet hour of prayer. It was noon time. Ready? But well, here comes Jesus. He took his last breath in the ninth hour. That's 12, right? One, two, three, three. Jesus died in the ninth hour. Y'all get it now? He died in the ninth hour of the day. Ooh, I love this. In the ninth hour of the day. But he said they're not drunk. They're not drunk. They're not drunk as you suppose. It's on the third hour of the day. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last day, said God, I will pour out of my spirit on all flesh. Y'all ready to get that spirit poured out of your flesh? He said he would do it. He's not a liar. He's not like man. He said, he, I'm going to pour out. It says right there. It says right there. I'm still in two, right? It says right there in verse 17. It said, come to pass in the last day, said God. Said who? God. I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Yes. And your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. And on my service and on my hands and handmaidens, women, I will pour out in those days of my spirit. And they shall prophesy. Amen. And I will show wonders in heaven above, signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. Ooh, ooh, did you see that? But look at 21. Oh, look at 21. Look at 21. Well, look at 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. See, you hear that? Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yeah, yeah. Yes. But here's something. You know how we always say signs, wonders, and miracles? Mm-hmm. Prophet's Valley. I told your brother this because I had been studying something. And you know how we say signs, wonders, and miracles? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Verse 22. Are you ready? I, I told your brother this one because I like this. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs. I like that. I like that. I like, that. I like the sound of that. Y'all hear me? So, so I'm going to be flipping them. I'm going to say signs, wonders, and miracles, but I'm also going to say what? Miracles and wonders and signs. Which God did by him in the midst of you, as you yourselves also know. So God did it through him. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Because I'm getting ready to get y'all to get the Holy Ghost. Mm. Uh, hold on. Because I can't bring all of that on the line. But look at 33. Therefore, being by the right hand of God, exalted and having received of the Father, the promise of the Holy Ghost. He's promised you the Holy Ghost. If God made a promise, it's real. He promised you the Holy Ghost. Some of y'all are blocking the Holy Ghost with, with worldly stuff. He has shared forth this which you now see and hear. Ready? He's going to make your foes first move. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me go down. Uh, let me go down. Uh, 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Hold up. 41. I'm almost finished with these scriptures. I look at 41. I wrote four letters on 41. At first, I didn't remember what it meant, and it came to me. I wrote IWTN at the top. And I wrote I R T N, and God brought it back to my memory after all these years I wrote that on there. Guess what that means? I W T N means I want this now. I R T N means I receive this now. Amen. What is it? Verse forty-one. Then they that gladly received His word were baptized, and the same day there were added unto them about three thousand souls. 
in the DMV, y'all. I declare the decree that 100,000 souls Amen. will enter into the kingdom of God in the DMV. Amen. 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 And most of them will be our black men. Amen. They will stop shooting. Amen. Stop killing in the DMV. Stop carjacking in the DMV by fire. I love our black men. And we're going to, oh, by the way, I'm in McDonald's yesterday for the girls. <laughs> and there was a, a guy in there, a Caucasian fellow. Mm -hmm. He kept talking to the cashier over and over. He, he was leaving to come back. So this guy beside me with tattoos all over his body, all over his neck. Wow. He, he said something about the guy. About the white guy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, what? He said, that MF Ooh. Mm -hmm. is getting a lot of special privileges. Mm -hmm. So that's what he said to me. Mm -hmm. But the Caucasian guy was sitting with an African girl. A mm -hmm. uh, good looking African woman. I told the first thing was a good looking African woman. Shabbos, I don't know what. He was with her. Mm -hmm. He was dressed too. Mm -hmm. Now, so he went on out to his car. Mm -hmm. I follow him. God, tell y'all. I follow him. And this month, I, I just found out something, y'all. And then y'all going to get this. Yes. Oh, God. Give me a flyer, the red one. The red Give me a flyer. Miss Long, I found something out. The red flyer been sitting for how long now, Miss Long? A long time. We get one here one day, right? Yep. God told me something. He said, since you're going to do this black man revival, he said, this fly, now you put it out there. When I, when I got it, we weren't ready. He said, put it out there. The heaven's best blessers, recruiting men and women of God to go out into the troubled areas and bless out all negativity in Jesus' name. Amen. Projects, streets, School, hospitals, jails, government, shelters, malls, dialysis centers, senior homes, etc. We are not preaching to the people. Not inviting them to our churches and not knocking on their door. We will break the power of the enemy off of their lives, off their families, and off their children. Are y'all yeah. hot? As we bless out spiritual wickedness, mm -hmm. murder, violence, home invasions, carjackings, mm -hmm. mass shootings, kidnappings, sex crimes, drug and alcohol addictions, robberies, stray bullets, poverty, homelessness, strange fires, etc. Interesting, please call heaven the best. All Christian denominations are called for this needed assignment from God. Matthew 10, 1 is on here, and so is Joel 3, 9. We said, proclaim me this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. That's what I'm doing. Amen. Wake up the mighty men. That's what we're going to do. Amen. Let all the men of war draw near. That's what we're going to do. Amen. Let them come Amen. up. Uh, and the Bible says, divine military mission. We're going to have these in the back. Ain't no date on it. I, we made this like two years ago. And now we're pulling them out now. Because now the assignment, the prophecy has come to pass now. The prophetic is here now. God told me what to do now. He said, now, now you can put these out now. And I'm getting ready, y'all. I'm going on social media tomorrow. Brand new from Pentecost Sunday. I'm getting ready to go on with the Black Men Revival all over social media tomorrow. Family. And I'm also getting ready to start coming on, pop up and, and talking about it and showing love. God told me, show love to the black man. He told me, don't come on judging me. Don't come on criticizing me. Don't come on saying negative things. Don't come on showing love and let them know I'm here with you. And we're going to help you spiritually. We're going to break every curse. We're going to talk directly to the one that's behind 
The one that's moving this stuff, the enemy of God. They will learn some things. And I believe there's going to be some people showing up in this church, y'all. Because we get ready to roll. I said I was waiting for Pentecost Sunday. Hold on, I almost finished. Verse 42. And they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and breaking of bread and in prayer. 43. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together, had all things common. And sold their possessions and goods, and parted them to all men, as every man had need. And they continued daily with one accord in the temple, and breaking bread from house to house. They eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart. Last verse, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. Say, have his best. Have his best. Verse 47 of chapter 2. Give God praise. Now, now right now where you are. All right where you are. Before you leave out here today. And that's a law for a fresh baptism of the Holy Ghost on you right now. Now, this is what I want to do. Yeah, it's cold now. You cut that off now. A minute long. Oh, thank you, guys. Yeah, cut that off. Yeah, you're right, it's cold. I feel that thing. A couple. Now, y'all, here's what I want right now. I'm going to tell you this. In case you think about coming up front. If you have never prayed in tongues before, I want you to get this out of your head today. That if you try in front of people, they'll be looking at you. And you're going to embarrass yourself and I got to do it. God ain't looking for professionals. He's looking for the hungry. Amen. Amen. Y'all hear me? And the thirsty. Yeah. So, if you've never prayed in tongues before, I'm going to ask the Lord to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and as you're speaking in other tongues. Now I'm telling you this right now, you can't be up here. I don't want you to even look at the people. I want you to look up. I want you to look up. If you've never prayed in tongues before, now join me up here right now. Just come on. Because I'm telling you something. You're going to want this. Amen. It's going to empower your life like you never know before. Come on up here, y'all. Yes, you know, pray the tongue. Come on right now. Come on. Come on right now. Come on right now. Amen. Come on, up. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way. Yeah, just come on. Come on. You know, pray the tongue before. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. If you're not praying the tongue, you need this. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Now, let me tell you what I've learned over the years. All y'all speak English, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Okay, we'll tell you something. I've heard the big boys, and they told me this years ago. Once you go to prayer, your English vocabulary, and you're going to run out of words real quick. Mm -hmm. And it's going to become a um, Come on. a chore because you're trying to think of more things you've already asked, you've already talked about your issues, you've already asked me about it. but guess what, and you wind up with a 5 minute or 10 minute prayer life mm -mm. and when I began to hear about these powerful revivals and the powerful people that were behind them and all the wonders and miracles and signs that God did to them uh, that some of them will be in tongues for three straight hours, four straight hours. Yes. The largest church in the world was in the Philippines. Cho. 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 Oh, in Korea. Okay, largest church in the world, world was in Korea. Cho. Uh, what was that? Young Cho? Yeah, Young Cho. A man asked him one time, why do you pray in tongues? For seven hours every day. So, are you kidding me? He said, because if I didn't, I wouldn't have a church this big. He had the largest church in the world. He had millions in this church. 
Oh yeah, he did now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Young Joe did now. But let me say this to you. He was right. I start praying. Let me tell you something, y'all. How long can you go just with this? Not long. Not long. You hear me? But you go in tongues. See, Ross said we are not praying, praying tongues enough. He said many signs, wonders, and miracles will happen in quick if you start praying, praying in tongues. Amen. Amen. Now, let me give you an example. So, if you want to use how I started praying in tongues, I've been I was born and bred a Baptist boy. There was no tongues in our church. Let me tell you what happened. I'm in my car at 10 a.m. in the morning in northeast Washington, D.C. Coming from downtown, and I'm on Rhode Island Avenue, heading home. What's his name, George Myers? Yeah. George Myers is on the radio. And here's what she says. She said, is there anybody who wants to start praying in tongues? I had never prayed in tongues before. I'm in ministry, but I ain't never prayed in tongues. She said, here's what I want you to do. She said, all I want you to do is open your mouth and make some sound yeah, yeah, yeah. of your own first. She said this. She said, you can even make a sound like a baby. Remember the ga 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 like a baby? Ga 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 ga. Okay. Or, she said, you can do like you did as a child. Pretend you speak in a foreign language. I know you ain't speaking Japanese or Chinese. <laughs> but you're pretending you're speaking it. But she said, first you open your mouth and give God something to work with. And once you get God something to work with, that tongue will come in. So now I'm in the car and I heard it. Y'all, I think I went with the baby talk. I mean, I went with the God, 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 God. It was easy for me. So I went with that. And I'm telling you the honest truth. All of a sudden, something got a hold of me. In the car driving. And I'm still not, but all of a sudden, I'm now in tongues. And I'm crying like a baby. I had to pull over on the curb. I had to pull over. Because I was crying like a baby driving. I had to pull over. And I've been in tongues ever since that day. So, here's what I want to do. I don't want y'all to look out here. I want y'all to look up. Hold your hands up, y'all. Sorry. Shall we come over here? Come on. Ready? Ready? Put your hands up, Shall Now, y'all, look up. Don't look out there. Nikki, don't look out there. Shall we don't look out there? Look up. I want you to pay attention to us right now. Okay, we look up to the Lord. Now, ready? I want y'all with your own mouth. Stop making some type of sound. Just do it. Just do it. Now, while they're doing that, everyone out here who can pray in tongues, stop praying in tongues like where you are. Come on, now. we're going to help them out. We're going to help them out now by the power of God. And I'm going to lay hands on them and say, receive the Holy Ghost. Go ahead, make some noise. Come on, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Go on, look up, Rick. Don't look at you. Make some sound. Receive the Holy Ghost. 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 Come on, y'all. Receive the Holy Ghost. 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 Right now is you. Right now is you. Keep making the sound. Right now is you. Keep doing it. Don't stop. Now, God, God, whatever you want to use. Foreign language, whatever you want to use. Just open your mouth and use something, y'all. Go ahead, open your mouth. Keep making the sound. Keep making the sound. And God will take over your tongue. 
Let's go over the board. Fill you in with the Holy Ghost. And you're going to begin to speak with other tongues. As the Spirit gives you the utterance. Let's go over the board. Let's go over the board. Receive the Holy Ghost. Fire! 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 Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Fire! Keep doing it. It's like yeah, God's at the right way. You only really pray in the tongue, and you. You ain't gonna understand one word of the tongue, it's not for you. It's for Jesus to hear. The devil don't understand tongues. The Holy Ghost will pray to Jesus through your tongue for you. Sometimes we don't know what to pray for. But you go and tell the Holy Ghost know what to pray for. Sometimes we don't even know what to pray for no more. Just pray. Hold the music for me. Hold up, y'all. I let them. I know y'all keep going. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Keep going. Feel the Lord. Feel the Lord. Thank you, Right now, Lord, from head to toe, right now. 
Whatever is needed by him, give it to him right now, Lord. Give it to him right now. There it is. Give it to him right now in the name of Jesus. Give it to him right now in the name of Jesus. Receive me the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. I declare you saved. I declare you healed. I declare you delivered. I declare you free. I declare I bind up every demon off your life right now. I bind up every demon off your life right now. I break every curse of you right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I plead the blood to cleanse you right now. Get it You'll never be the same again after the day.
name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. 
glad you're so honored. I'm glad you're so honored. Did he drive y'all here today? No, he came by himself. No, no, he came by himself. Yeah, he was saying, hold up, hold up. Oh, you didn't bring him? No, he brought him. Oh, okay. Yeah. He, he goes out. He didn't bring him. He didn't bring him. He didn't bring him. He didn't bring him. Thank you for your amazing power, God. God, come in with your own mind. God, we know your blood will never lose his power. He goes shut of my Hey, he's back. Amen. He goes shut of my He's back. He goes shut of my He's back. 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 Hold on, I want him to repeat something after me. Are you ready? So dear Jesus, dear Jesus, please forgive me. I was sin. I was I the right thing. Come to my heart, because God, they're for me. Please forgive me. Leave me, leave me, God, God, me. Teach me, teach me, use me. Use me. Save me, save me. Take your drugs, take your drugs, and your sin, and my sin, and flesh, and flesh. And I renounce you, renounce you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God praise the day, y'all. Amen. Amen. God, follow me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. 